behind the net. Sturgeon and McNeil to the right of the Quebec goal. Andrew Chuck with him. The Sabres control it. Sutton drops it into the corner around the back of the net. The Nordiques pick it up over on the other side and they send it back down the ice. 3.43, Sutton back down there and that'll be icing. So they'll bring it back into the Quebec zone and face it off again. Four to four. 3.40 left in overtime. Sabres had a one nothing lead, a two nothing lead. Then Nordique scored to make it two to one. Then the Sabres scored in the second period to make it three one. And then Quebec rattled off three goals to go ahead four three. And Buffalo tied it in the final period. Here's Turgeon and McNeil to the left of the Quebec goal. They're ready to face it off. Here we go. And Nordique send it back down the ice. The Sabres can catch up to it. They'll call icing again and bring it back down. 3.32 left in overtime. Grant Ledyard for the Sabres. Turgeon. Anderchuk. Sutton. The ref's out there taking a look at Anderchuk's stick. Sutton at, or Turgeon and McNeil set up again, ready to face it off. Clotier, and there's the puck. It's cleared down. The Sabres will take control. 326 left. You just tuned in. It's 326 into the overtime period. 4-4. And the puck comes towards Clotier. He'll pick it up and dish it off, and the Nordiques will set up, and they send it back down to the ice. They pick it up at the blue line, they bring it in. He takes a shot on goal, and Poopa makes a nice save. The Sabres bring it back down the ice. They're coming in from the right. Here's a shot and a save by Clotier. He dumped it back out, but no one was there for the rebound. They send it back in around the net. And the Nordiques take control. They bring it into center ice. And they bring it across the blue line, but the Sabres send it back out again. Back at center ice, the Sabres keep it back into their zone. And the Nordiques have it. 2.28 left to go in the overtime period. The Nordiques have it. And they lose control there. The Sabres send it back down the ice. Cloutier comes out to make the stop, and he'll dish it off. Quebec tries to regroup again. They send it back in. Loose, spot, loose, loose puck there in the front. They send it around the back of the board. Slow action right now in this overtime period. Just under two minutes to go. The puck in front of the back into the corner again. Everyone's kicking it around. No one's got control of it yet. The Sabres have it now and they bring it around the back side and the Nordiques stop it at the blue line but they can't keep it in and Buffalo takes control they bring it around the front it's broken up there Nordiques take it and it's broken up and there's a whistle that'll stop the play a minute 30 left in overtime 4-4 and the fans aren't happy they'll make a nice Change right here, Lafleur, Guy Lafleur, the Montreal great playing out his last season with the Quebec Nordiques, comes back onto the ice for Buffalo for the last minute and a half. Turgeon will be out there, Krupp will be there. The Nordiques have Craig Woolian and Lafleur and McNeil. They're ready to face it off at the blue line. Buffalo controls the puck. They bring it up the side. And they dump it into the Quebec end. Cloutier rides it around the boards. Behind the net now. The Nordiques have it. Lafleur rolls by him, so he can't control it. And here come the Nordiques. 
Down across the blue line, in on the right side. They're trying to center it right here, but there's no one in front. He bounces it back around the boards. He's in front, he takes a shot, and Pupa makes a great save. 57 seconds left. Four to four, here come the Sabres. They're coming back down. Krupp had it, but he lost it. He's got it again. He sends it back around the ice. He tries to center it, but there's no one there. And here comes the Quebec. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Will he take a shot? He comes it in. He takes a backhand, but Pupa makes the save. 35 seconds left into overtime. They're fighting for it. 27 seconds left. Less than a half a minute, and here we go. Buffalo has control. They bring it into the Quebec zone. It's in the corner right now. Lafleur is over there, stabbing five. Takes it for the Sabres, and he sends it out. And no one's there. 13 seconds. It's in. Now it's back into the corner. 11. 10 seconds to go. It's out at the point. There's a shot, and that's that down. Five seconds. Lafleur has it for the last time, and he sends it back into the corner. One second left, and the game ends in a tie. And there's Guy Lafleur. Walking off the ice, getting a couple of shakes. Overtime shot. The Sabres had two and the Nordiques had four. There's a good shot of Guy Lafleur walking off, skating off the ice. And he gets a nice hand and he waves to the Buffalo crowd. There's the final. Quebec 4, Buffalo 4. Quebec has given Buffalo a hard time all season long. Out of eight games, the Nordiques have won three, lost two, and they've tied the other three. And they've only won 15 games all season. So with that, the Nordiques pretty much had control of the Sabres this season. But unfortunately, they're going to have to take a ride home because they won't make the playoffs. Here we are right now with some the first star of the game, third star, I'm sorry, Grant Ledyard for the Sabres. And the second star, the Quebec Matt Sundin. And Howard Chuck is the first star for the Sabres, number 10. And so that's it. A 4-4 four four tie with Quebec, and the Sabres have two games left before they take on Montreal, up in Montreal, on the 3rd of April in the first round of the playoffs. The Sabres had a 2-0 lead in the first period. Quebec scored to make it 2-1, and then going into the second period, they made it 3-1 in favor of the Sabres, but then Quebec came back with three goals and went ahead 4-3. Buffalo tied it in the third at 4-4 and that's where it ended up a 4-4 tie Buffalo and Quebec I'm Tim Connolly along with Bob <laughs> and we'll see you next time